Hello, hello, hello everyone. I've got another MZ Wallace bag to show you today. I apologize, it's been quite a long time since my last review video. Um, as you know, most of my videos on my channel are reviews of MZ Wallace bags. That's just because I'm something I'm sort of obsessed with and still am, um, but just not acquiring them as quickly as I used to before. I kind of feel like I'm at that point where I have quite a few of them, or at least have some solid favorites that I've never really felt a need to acquire that many more. Um, so this particular bag I just happened to pick up at a recent sale that MZ Wallace had on their website. It was a good one. Um, these sales come maybe once or twice a year uh, at most where they really heavily discount things. And so this happened to be very nicely priced and that's why I just snatched it up really quickly. It was a style that I was so, that I was sort of curious about um, and wanted to try out. And since it was on sale, I figured, okay, why not? So this is the MZ Wallace Jordan Hobo bag. And I've always been drawn to the line of Jordan bags because they're just beautiful. They have these clean lines. They look amazing. Um, and I was really obsessed with the Jordan backpack for a while. I did obtain that. Um, unfortunately returned it before I had a chance to give you a review on it. Um, but I don't know. I, yeah, I regret not being able to to review it for you, but it was a bag that I loved because it had two handles on the top and it was just a beautiful looking bag, but I ended up returning it because it just it was just too heavy for me. I was surprised at how heavy it ended up being. And uh, if a bag is too heavy for me, then, or just too bulky, along with all my other stuffs put into it, and it's way too heavy, then I'm just not gonna like it. So it ended up going back, unfortunately. But the Jordan line of bags also had this hobo style that I was kind of drawn to, kind of curious about, wanted to try out, and of course the sale kind of pushed me over that edge to, all right, let's just go ahead and give it a shot. Because I was generally in the market for a bag that's bigger than your average kind of small compact cross crossbody style bag so that I'd be able to transition from work to weekend with my kids really, really easily. And you'll be able to see that um, this bag offers, it's a nice size and offers you a lot of good options to be able to do that. So this again is the Jordan Hobo and this particular color I think is a retired color. Uh, it's probably not going to make its way back onto the website anytime soon. Maybe another variation of it or something, but it's basically a very, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it might just look black on the camera, but it is a very, very dark, deep purple. And it's meant to be a purple bag. Uh, the purple color really shines when you're in direct sunlight. That's when it's very, very obvious and very, very clear that it's a purple bag. But um, under most lighting conditions, it might just look really, really um, just like basically black, basically, almost like a faded black. Um, but it is a blackish purple color. And so it's called Damson Bedford. And uh, again, this is probably going to be a retired color. You're going to have to look on eBay and other sources to see if you can find this particular color online. So as you can see, it is a very, very simple silhouette. Uh, it's just two pouch pockets on the front and the zippers are covered by this flap. And then it is your kind of hobo style with a slouchy kind of zipper opening on the top as well as one single shoulder strap. This is a very nice padded leather that sits pretty comfortably on your shoulder and it's a nice drop, drop length as well. So um, it does sit nicely and comfortably on the shoulder. And it also does come with a removable crossbody strap that we'll get to in a moment. So for the front here, it's just these two pouch pockets, which is so iconic of MZ Wallace bags. Um, except for this Jordan line of bags, they have the zippers covered with a flap. Those of you who might have seen my previous videos, you know that I don't really like stuff that blocks my access to my openings, such as these zippers. So I was a little apprehensive about this flap. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. Of course, if being on sale, you know, I just decided to try it out. Um, so this flap doesn't bother me too much. I mean, I still personally would rather just not have this, but it's fine. It doesn't bother me too much. They make it easy enough for you to just kind of um, push up and then open your zipper. So not too bad. It's okay. It's acceptable, I suppose, in my book. So you can see that it just, you, you can you lift it up, 
open up the zipper like that and there's your access to your pocket. The other one is the same one, same size. And so you can see that these particular pockets in the front are not terribly wide. This is it. This is how wide it is. Just this, you can see the zipper here. Um, however, they do give you a little bit more flexibility in size because of this little gusset, I guess you can call it, that enables the pocket to kind of pop out a little bit to give you a little bit more space to work with. Otherwise, it, if they didn't have this little gusset here, it would be extremely tight and extremely small of a pocket. So I'm glad they did this to let it to give you some room. But inside this particular pocket here, uh, I just have my phone. This is my dedicated pocket for my phone, which is at the present moment, a iPhone 8, not the iPhone 8 Plus. I don't usually get the plus size phones. So this is the regular size 8. I think a plus would fit in here as well. I'm not completely positive, but this is the 8 for size reference. And then the other side, I just usually keep my wallet and keys. And so I'm still, so oh, this is my work badge. And then I have my wallet, which is still at the moment, one of those Jujube Be Charged card cases, which I'm just still loving because it's so incredibly small and compact and can be thrown in any bag. It's just so tiny, love it. And then inside, I just have my keys sitting at the bottom. So that's what I usually stuff into this pocket. Um, there are no other pockets on the front of the bag, so the two front pouch pockets are just gonna be those items that I try to reach for the most often. On the top here, you can see that's kind of blended into the colors there. It's the same color leather as the Bedford Nylon. It's uh, this MZ Wallace logo here in leather. So that's pretty much it for the front of the bag. And a nice thing that they added was this little charm. This comes with the bag. You don't have to purchase it separately. It's just this little dog tag thing that has their logo on it, as well as the little, I think this is the address um, to one of their main flagship stores in New York. So that's just this cute little dog charm, dog tag charm thing that they include with the bag. The top opens with just one long zipper across the top, and then it has this nice little tassel zipper pull, which are also on the front zippers as well. And then the back has just one long zippered pocket across the back. It almost is the entire size of the bag, but you can see where the zipper kind of starts. It doesn't go all the way up. But it's still a very nicely sized pocket. It's a great catch-all pocket. Receipts, trash that you can't always throw away too um, quickly with kids or something. You can easily stash it in here. In here I currently have the crossbody detachable messenger strap. Uh, this is pretty noteworthy in that it's wider than most of your other crossbody straps that you will see included with other MZ Wallace bags. It's probably at least a good half inch wider than most of their other straps, which I thought was pretty nice because um, it helps you distribute the weight of the bag more evenly on your shoulder. So I thought that was kind of a nice touch that they decided to use a wider strap for this particular bag, which is bigger than most of your crossbody style bags. So this is the strap and I usually keep it in this particular pocket. And I like to also throw my kids wipes case in here for weekends because they still get grimy and dirty at restaurants and so I'm still carrying wipes with me. I like to throw it in here. You can see also that the inside lining is pretty nice. It's that jacquard lining that they typically use in their Bedford nylon bags. Um, very, very nice quality, very nice touch and feel to it. It has the MZ Wallace logo kind of embossed all over. And uh, you can see also that it's a different color lining than the outside of the bag. This is like a nice grayish light purple to contrast with a very deep kind of blackish purple on the outside. Very nice color. That's the back pocket. Now we'll just go ahead and get into the inside of the bag here. I do have this packed as a typical work day bag for me and I'll just show you how easy it is to transition from work to weekend with kids. 
So in here, my typical work items, uh, as you can see, and as is normal for all my videos, I do not keep my purses very full. I like to keep room for an extra sweater or something that I want to throw in there quickly. So I keep the top usually empty. Um, on the front here, there's always the two pockets. These are, we're starting to get into the normal six pockets that you find on MC Wallace bags. Uh, usually in here I'll have something like tissues. So yes, I do have a package of tissues as well as some oil blotting paper. And then on the other side, I just have this uh, hand sanitizing spray as well as, I don't think I have anything else in here actually. Nope, that's pretty much all I keep in these two pockets. These are good uh, cell phone size pockets as well as sunglass size pockets. And then on the other side, the back wall here, it has that long zippered pocket across the back. Uh, just open that up here and it has the hidden two bonus slip pockets on the inside, as is normal in most MZ Wallace bags. In one of these pockets here, I do have my little card case that I use, that I've been using forever. It's from Vera Bradley. I just use it to house all of my old... Uh, older coupons, credit cards that I don't use as often. I like to keep them all in one place in this card case. And then on the other side, I actually keep a spare uh, pair of sunglasses. This is not my normal pair. I just keep it back there just in case I forget my sunglasses in the car or something. So I can grab for those. And then just the bottom sitting loosely in the main part of the pocket here, I just have my checkbook kind of hanging out there. Plenty of room for other things that you would want to corral with these bonus pockets here. They're very nicely sized. So that's everything in the back pocket. And then in the front, there is the business card holder. And yes, I got a couple cards in there. So yeah, business cards in the front. And then there's the generously sized uh, main compartment. And just sitting down here, I have what I usually carry in all of my MZ Wallace bags. I rotate it into different bags. Um, it's just my bag of loose kind of odds and ends. I've got like eyeglass wipes in here. I've got chapstick, hair ties. I've got um, one of those things to hang your purse on the table. I've got charging cables, band-aids, um, a brush, just a bunch of random stuff, lotion, toiletries, all of that I typically keep in this particular little pouch, which is an MZ Wallace, I believe it's the Savoy cosmetic bag, medium sized. And then also just sitting loose in here, I have a reusable bag, pretty much always need one of these. Uh, when you're out and about, so I always make it a habit to carry at least one of these with me. This particular one is made by a company called Bagu. I absolutely love these. They're so versatile, so flexible. You can just roll them up or just scrunch them up and throw them in pretty much any bag you have with you. And it's a huge size as well. This is their extra large, I think, the extra large Bagu bag, um, which is very generously sized and can pretty much hold anything that you throw in it. Love it. Love it for grocery shopping. So that's pretty much it for the inside of the bag for me. That's what I typically carry to work with me. This also has the key leash, um, or I call it a key leash, but I think they designed this to, hold, to clip onto the market purse, which is included with the bag. And I apologize, I actually don't have that to show you today. It's in a different bag that I just don't have access to at the moment. So I apologize. It is your typical market purse that they include with all the other MZ Wallace bags. It's just that little kind of rectangular pouch that's good for cosmetics or any other small items that you'd want to corral together. So it's not lost in the big black hole of your bag. So it does come with one of those. And then actually what I do have to show you as well for this particular style bag, it does come with a dust bag. Uh, this I haven't even unfolded this. This is how it came um, in the box. So this is one of their normal dust bags, but then it also came with an additional dust bag, which I thought was pretty cool and interesting, um, but very cute, very fun kind of cloud print. Um, this is what the bag came wrapped in when I opened up the package. So I thought it was cool and unusual because I, I never see them include two dust bags. But this particular style, for whatever reason, they decided to include two. I don't know what other styles they do that for. So that's pretty much it for this bag. Now it is empty and you can see it is just really easy to deal with, very lightweight. Um, it's, you know, you can scrunch it up if needed. You can throw it in a suitcase as a great travel bag to take out 
when you're sightseeing somewhere. Um, has plenty of pockets for you to work with and carry all of your valuables in. I really like that about it. And so just to show you really quickly how easy it is to go from work to weekend, uh, usually all I do is, so I have of course this hand sanitizer and the lotion and all of those things in the pockets, but typically what I will do is I will swap out the kind of odds and ends bag, this one. I have another one of these types of pouches filled with my kids' toys, markers, crayons, uh, anything that I would typically take to a restaurant, I have packed in another one of these types of bags, so I would just swap the bags and throw the kids' one in there. And then I would also have, um, of course, my phone, wallet, keys, all of those things would normally go into the front pockets. But also what I always find myself carrying around on a typical weekend with kids, I have always have to have some type of sunblock. So this is brush on block, which I'm a big, big, big fan of. Uh, I hate rubbing any type of greasy lotion sunscreen on my kids' faces and they hate it too. This is a great compromise for parents and kids. Uh, it's really, really easy. It just brushes right on. It's a powder, a very loose powder um, that dispenses into the brush. You can take it anywhere and just brush it on their faces, hands, arms, whatever it is. If we happen to hit up a park or a playground or something and they're gonna be out in the sun, I always have to have that with me and it's easy to throw into this bag. Another thing I always have to have with me when I have my kids on the weekend, I have to have their water bottles. Uh, this is the Nalgene Grip and Gulp, which I have used for years and absolutely still love it. It is a tried and true water bottle. However, now that it's summer, it's a little bit hotter where we are. Um, I like to use the Thermos Funtainer um, and it, just the small version. I think it's a 12 ounce Funtainer bottle. Don't have that at the moment because my kids have it at their school, but um, it is a really great bottle because it keeps drinks cold, insulated. I can put ice in there and it keeps their stuff cold and it um, covers the spout, the straw, so that it stays a little bit cleaner. But anyways, this is generally the type of size water bottle that I would be carrying around. Since I have two kids, I would carry two of these. And so two of those will um, sit pretty well into this bag. I only have one to show you, but you can imagine there's gonna be one here and one on the other side, plus their bag full of like toys and crayons and stuff. And then in the back, I just throw their wipes case, which is the Y pouch that I always use. I throw that in the back pocket. And then I am pretty much good to go for any kind of outing that we're going to do on the weekends. Obviously, it's not going to be a very long outing. It'll be something to It'll be some type of trip to the grocery store or the park or Target or any um, random store where we have to run errands. This bag is really, really good for transitioning from work to weekend with kids and spouses and going to restaurants, going out uh, different places. I think this bag is a really, really good size. I didn't want thing, something too big because then I would tend to overfill it and it would be too heavy and I hate heavy bags. Um, I love my Crosby backpack to death. I, that's still probably the bag that I reach for the most often when I have my kiddos. But sometimes you just want to have a handbag. Sometimes you don't want to sling a backpack onto your, onto your back. So um, this was the perfect compromise for me um, and I am really enjoying it for this particular purpose. So I am hoping that this particular review was helpful for you. Hopefully you have an idea of kind of the size of this bag and how flexible it could be for all your needs. It is a really, really good bag for weekends. I'm really enjoying it for this purpose right now. Um, it's not the, I don't think it's the bag that I would take to work all the time. There is another bag that I prefer for that, the Crosby Tote. That's probably my favorite work bag, um, but uh, this is great also. So if I want to change it up and have a hobo style instead of a tote style, this it, it just transitions perfectly for that. So if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post below, and I hope uh, this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much.